passage of scripture that, that, that the heathens quote to justify eating um, pork or eating unclean food. When I say unclean food, unhealthy food, right? Foods that the Almighty never meant to be eaten. He never, it was never his intention, you see? And it's because of mistranslation, um, abundance of mistranslation. But the first thing they mistranslate is the humanity of Christ. Right? That's the first thing that they mistranslate is the humanity, right? The humanity of Christ. Right? His his the fact that he's a black man, right, that he's an Ethiopian. That's what they mistranslate. And a lot of folks probably will see this part of it and be like, Oh, I can't take that. He's not black, he can't be black because they've been lied to, they've been deceived. But if we go a little bit further on with this particular reasoning right here, I just did a first vid where I went through the first point that was used in this particular article by the author, I think, Dr. Peter Saunders, right here. Do they promote uh, GMOs, right, fluoride in the water, right, man-made foods? We know there's a lot of man-made foods going on. This from the article, Why Christians May Eat Shellfish But Not Have Sex Outside of Marriage, even though they put this against homosexual practice. This is what's all in the article. So it's deceptive from the very get-go. The title is deceptive, right? Now, in in it, Right in it, we see right here. There's a quote from Mark chapter seven, verses eighteen to twenty-three. Right, and in the midst of that quote, they put in parentheses and saying this: Jesus declared all foods clean. Yet, when we go to the scripture, right, that, it, that we find that that's not what happened. Right, here's the quote right here, and we don't see it anywhere. Here's from from the King James Bible, and comparing that with the Amharic Bible, right, and you can go and compare that with the Septuagint. You will not find where it says, and in saying this, Jesus declared all foods clean. Right, the context of it right here. Here's the context of it that when the Pharisees and the scribes had saw the disciples, the the Jewish or the Hebrew disciples of Yeshua, right, they saw them eating bread. That is to say, with defiled hands. fault regarding, they found fault regarding the fact that their hands were not clean and it had nothing to do with the type of food that they were eating. After all, they were just eating bread and it wasn't GMO bread. Stay tuned, more to come.